Hi everyone, welcome back to my Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 video guide. We're playing on Master Ninja difficulty and we're on chapter 15, Quickening Devastation. Um, this is a level that has three bosses of bosses that we've already fought, They're, so it's their second form second forms here. So we got uh, Marbus, Zidonius, and Wolf again. So we've all fought these bosses, um, but they're back in town, a range up in a nice little chorus line for us to kick over and tear the shit up out of. Um, so this is the first appearance of these uh, marionette demons. Um, I'm using the dragon sword on them only because I want the most money from all these kills. Uh, it's hard to kill these guys with the dragon sword if you're doing the UTs because you simply don't have the range that you are, are given if you have the endless fang equipped. And I would, if you have a lot of money and you don't want to go through the tedium of doing these kills with the dragon sword, I would recommend using the endless fang. It's a lot less riskier, and you will kill the enemies uh, much more with a lot more consistency than this. Because this method just requires a little bit of a lot more patience and a little bit of a little bit of luck that, that these enemies don't like twirl across the screen like directly on you. Um, you can see when they're about to twirl, and then you release the charge. Um, sometimes uh, you'll be charging up, moving the camera around, and they'll just uh, land right on you, and you'll get your charge broken. So it's really um, aggravating um, but why am I using the dragon sword simply because I want more money from these kills like I said um, the endless fang will do the, do all this more successfully but since uh, this dragon sword is on level 4 now you get more money than any other weapon since uh, all those are only on level 3 so as I stated before and I hope everyone recalls that um, all the weapons that you have maxed out or powered up more get more money that's just uh... that's just how the game works it gives you more money so uh... basically you fight these uh... this way this pretty big wave of marionette demons and then you're gonna have some um, demon spawns um, down the path and then some dragons and then you get a save point and you can access this shop here if you're of a mind to it's um it's the only it's the only shop that you get until you defeat um, Zidonius. So um, it's like that in the next chapter too, where like um, you start out and there's a store like right off the bat, and in that chapter actually it's the only store on the whole map area. So um, this stage is a little bit different in 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 the fact that you do get another store at the end. Um, but in chapter uh, 16, it's not that case, so I will be pointing that out uh, to be sure when I once I get there. But um, this is uh, I'm taking a lot of risks here, um, getting all these kills with the dragon sword because I'm just a money fiend. Um, uh, I'm really bad at just uh, being so greedy to get every kill with this uh, weapon because I know that it's going to give me more money than any other weapon here, and uh, um, as you you know, the more enemies you clear before the save point the more risk obviously that you're taking um, you know at the outset of this fight when you're just dealing with the marionettes there's not much risk because you're just starting right where you know you're starting right where you, you started here by the, by the store here um, yeah this does this does take patience and um, just a little bit of luck that these guys don't jump on you but you can prevent them from killing you uh, as they're jumping on you by releasing that charge. So, um, yeah, this was a little precarious situation here where they got that um, that dragon charged me. That guy started to jump towards me. So, uh, you know, things are getting a little tense at this point. So, um, you know, I, I kind of, yeah, and there's some fireballs too. They could have killed me potentially. I have a lot of health right now, so they probably wouldn't have killed me a fireball. A single fireball probably wouldn't kill me. Um, but yeah, this is a, a lot of risk that I'm taking here, especially that I've killed a lot of the enemies. And there's more, too. See, the target is auto-aiming through the rock there. Um, I think there's some dragons left. Let's see what we have. So, yeah, okay, so <laughs> yeah, this fucker got trapped behind the damn tree, and I was trying to hit him, and it was auto-aiming at the air next, next to him, so... Um, yeah, that's just a really ridiculous situation. Now, that is just pathetic. This fucking dragon. Um, and you have to essentially free the, the, the any enemy that you can't hit because they're trapped behind something. Um, you know, that's a good scenario if you can hit them um, 
through whatever they're trapped behind, but, uh, or, yeah, behind. But, um, normally you have to un untrap those guys by moving to another area of the map. And I actually exploit that a little bit after the, uh, Mar after the Marvis fight, uh, with some demon spawns, and, um, I do have that on this particular take. So, I almost have 150,000 bucks, and, uh, that's quite a lot of money. I've seen some people playing this game, and they had twice as much money on this on this level and I don't know if they're cheating or not I, I really don't know how I don't even know how to cheat and get more money um this is uh the way I'm doing it is just strictly just by the book like thinking like straight up just grinding for money um yeah it's a little bit um tedious but um I don't know maybe there are some areas where you can grind and even get more money I'm not really sure I wish I knew that, but I'm currently on the, uh, as I record this and speak, I'm currently on Chapter 17, the final level. Uh, I just, just got there, so I really haven't even start, started that level. But, um, at that point I have, I got there with about 70, no, I think I have maybe 100,000, I don't know. Oh, but that dude, okay, okay, yeah, I wanted to say something about that. The reason I got one less Devil, Devil's Way Mushroom than I could carry is because of that corpse right there. He's really hard to, pa I mean, he's really hard to see right there. He's, he's uh, burnt to a crisp behind that tree. Um, so, this is the, uh, the Marvis fight. And I, I, I my Nimpo I, that I equipped is the Wind Blades here. So, this is the, uh, the, uh, the second fight with Marvis. It's the exact same fight as in Chapter 8. Um, but this is extremely easy, whereas in Rachel Stage, it was fucked up hard. So right there, that was a true Dragon Gleam um, uh, move. It's performed by, um, um, yeah, there, you did the juke right there. Um, look how fucking much that damages him. This is so easy of a fight compared to the Rachel stage. I mean, this 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 shows how easy Marvis is with a, a decent character. Um, with Rachel, that, that bitch sucks. She really, really sucks, but enough of that. Um, and this just goes to show you like how much that dragon sword takes off anyone's life. Look, look at how much it takes away. I even missed one of the slices there. But um, yeah, the true dragon gleam is a really awesome move. It's unlocked uh, with this fourth power up of the uh, of the dragon sword. You just uh, start moving the left analog stick at the nine o'clock position, and then uh, move it in a clockwise direction and end at the six o'clock position. Uh, but you have to be charging at the same time. So if you get it up to the red charge. Then you can do that um, really fast-paced twirl in the in the air. So yeah, this is a very easy easy fight that goes by extremely quickly. So then I did the true dragon gleam again. Um, so funny, just uh, didn't hit him there. Uh, I got one that nice jab at him right at the end. So um, yeah, you definitely don't don't want to waste many resources. You want to get to the 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 Zidonius fight with all your stuff intact, because that guy is a bitch. He's a fucking bitch, Monger, and this guy, uh, Marvis, it's, it's not hard to beat this section here without using any healing items. Um, don't worry about using some Nimpo, because there's going to be a cache of Nimpo um, before the next save statue. And don't worry about, like, beating this boss and then dying before the next save statue, because there's going to be a checkpoint after this fight, so there's nothing to worry about. Um, but just, uh, if you need to use like a healing item, just don't waste more than like one or two, because you'll need everything for the the Zidonius fight. That guy is a pure bastard, and uh, but I have a really good technique of taking him down. I mean, it's not even a technique; it's just like you just gotta go hardcore and uh, hardcore against him and just hit hit the fuck out of him with the dragon sword, uh, the triangle button. And that's all I'm using here. I had to do that. It was so funny. Okay, so here, um, uh, um, here. Okay, that is right there. Right there is exploiting the uh, an angle right there. So um, I'm gonna trap him behind the wall and then move out of the way so that he gets untrapped and he's in, he's like directly lined up to me. So then he'll get untrapped and that gave me enough time to get the red UT. Uh, let's see. I tried to do it again here. Let's see if I get it successfully. Yeah, I trapped him again. So yeah, that is uh, true exploitation of angles here. And I uh, see that I untrapped him. Well, I didn't untrap him there, but I untrapped him right there. So just recall that you have a check. Uh, you have a checkpoint. So do your absolute best here and get all these red UT kills. Just don't worry about dying because just start right in that area um, where um, 
the platform was after you beat um, that little state, that arena. But just recall that you can't go back and save it or anything. So there's either going to be some fish here, which I actually like getting in this instance because sometimes the fish will give me um, Nimpo. And uh, having Nimpo here is really helpful because um, just the, just because uh, you don't need to conserve it because, like I said, there's a cache of Nimpo before the save point. So you can essentially waste every single Nimpo you have to if you get stuck in the jam because there's a... There's a, uh, after this fight here with these two demon spawns, there's another um, large group of marionette demons that you have to take down, followed by, um, and then after that, there, you'll see like a save statue in the distance, but the more, the closer you get to it, like, then it'll turn dim on you, and uh, yeah, another one of the nasty tricks that this game does, and then it'll go dim, meaning you can't access the save point, and then you'll get ambushed by some gold dragons, um, which I would recommend using, um, Nimpo on using the piercing void, and uh, I'll show you how to deal with them. But anyway, just head on, head on down here. You're gonna go down this um, um, little ledge here that you fall, and then just go forward here. And these are where the marionette demons are. Now I'm not sure what I was resorted to using here. I like to use dragon sword to at least, to at least get this bitch here. Um, yeah, my level headedness got the better of me at this point because I think at this point I had died so many times trying to uh, get all the kills here with the dragon sword, and, and it, it just ended up being not worth it because, um, you know, like in the first part of the stage, these guys were at the very like these guys began the stage, um, but it's just a little too much of a hassle to go to back to the save point and then beat those demon spawns. You know, if these guys began the whole checkpoint, it might be, uh, I might go through the tedium of using the Dragon Sword. Sometimes you just get to the point where you're saying, it. this is not worth it, it's taking too much time. So, you gotta love when you, uh, try to get a, a UT in, and then he spins, like, nowhere near a single enemy. That's because the auto-aim feature of that UT, uh, just cannot, simply, simply cannot find any targetable foes, because they're probably behind that rock wall. So, I'm kind of glad that I, I'm using the uh, Enma thing here, as I'm speaking anyway, so I can just show you how much easier it is to kill these foes here, these uh, marionettes with the red UT of the Enma thing compared to that of the Dragon Sword. So, um, you get less money, but it, it's a lot more effective to use the Enma thing. And uh, the final tally up of the money, you know... It probably, you know, a few thousand dollars less, but I'm just a really money grubber, so, um, remember to go, uh, hop back at about that point, throw a, uh, um, a Nimpo there, so, at this point I have, uh, no Nimpos left, I have, um, s st supplies of the Devil's Way Mushroom in my inventory, but I'm not going to use any of those because there's a, uh, a treasure box before the save point that's going to give you... I'm a full repl replenishing of your on-hand impost, so there's absolutely no point of um, using any of your Devil's Way mushrooms here because you know you're going to get your nimpo refilled. And yes, it's pretty difficult. These guys just de-wing them by shooting them and make them fall to the ground. And then once they fall to the ground, get behind cover and prepare a charge. And they pretty much will just run towards you, and then you'll be able to, you know, I miss there. That's always fucking a hassle. But pretty much, if you get a red UT, these guys will go down. And uh, if you get them delimbed, I would suggest, uh, you know, trying to do the execution. Or if you're really stubborn like I am, just try to get another um, UT kill, even if it's blue. Um, so there's several of these uh, dragons. And normally they'll just, uh, you know what, they may... <laughs> I think they all did... Yeah, they disappeared. You gotta love the, these disappearing enemies. It's just, uh, it's really great. And I'm saying that a little sarcastically, but... I don't know. So over here, grab, grab this box. You can get all five of your um, Nimpos back. Save it. And then uh, we're going to fight Zonis, but there's uh, one little group of enemies to dispatch here. Um, lesser Fiends and two Dragons. So I would uh, try to get a Red UT off the bat. If you can't, don't worry about it. The fall back here. And uh, anyone who charges you, just release the charge. And these lesser fiends, they are... I fucking hate these guys. And they are on the, the next stage. And 
Uh, they are so fucking fast and tenacious. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I think they're like, they are harder than the melee ninjas. They've got to be harder than those guys. They, I don't know. They just get on your ass so much, and then when they get to your ass, they run up your ass. It's just like fuck. Just leave me the fuck alone, you know? Man, they are so annoying. And there's no way to slow them down. They're just <laughs> fuck, man. I hate those guys to no end. So this guy, he couldn't get through the fucking hole until too late. So try to get the OT. Maybe not. But anyway, so just uh, take these guys down in whatever method is you're most comfortable with. Uh, so that guy kind of ran through the wall. But anyway, uh, we're coming up on the second Zidonius fight. We killed him, or we at least we thought we killed him in Chapter 10. Now he's back, and he's got his fucking lackeys with him, but they're uh, they're red water demons, and they're not the 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 other the white ones that he had before his lackeys. Um, this guy sucks. Uh, he is he's very difficult. You're going to need a talisman every birth. You're going to need all your healing items. Um, don't waste that egg item, which gives you all your life back. I, I never would... I, I saved that up to... Uh, for the last stage. Um, so just take these demon fish out. Uh, now, you trigger the, the the boss by, first of all, killing these uh, fire fish here. And then once they're all gone, then you want to go into the island in the very left. There is a, uh, a Grains of Spiritual Life and a um, Devil's Way Mushroom on two corpses on other islands around that middle island. And you may see me try to go for those items during the course of the fight. Now, the worst, one of the worst parts of the Sidonius fight is the horrible camera angles. Um, but they're minimized by if you stay on this island. Because I think this fight was designed for this island to be the center of attention. Now, if you go into the other islands, you get fucked by the camera so bad. Um, and I'm going to be using Nimpo like all every single moment of this fight practically because um, first of all to take these fucking water demons down second of all like when you're slashing at him um, do a few slashes with a triangle button just always do the triangle button attack it takes away so much damage from him with the dragon sword in level 4 he's got a few uh, easy moves to dodge but he's got some uh, he will grab you and uh, just really tear into you so um, this actually worked out really well, um, that I got in so many hits here, um, with, uh, on my first bar of health here, not even having to waste the talisman of rebirth at this point. Um, so he will grab you, and you will get killed if you don't have enough health. Um, if you have, uh, a significant amount of health, then he will allow you to use some healing items. And, uh, this actually was, like, the best take that I got of this guy. Um, it, you know... It's just that I killed him so quickly here, and you gotta get a little lucky. But the reason I'm, I'm taking a few slashes at him, and then I'm dropping Ninpo. Just dropping Ninpo, just taking a few slashes, dropping Ninpo, just to avoid, just to, first of all, to give me a few moments to react to everything, and then to second of all, to make myself immune to everything, including his grab attacks. Um, and uh, that's really a tactic, tactic you can use on a lot of bosses. Slash a couple times and drop Ninpo. Because then that gives you a moment to react, and it also gives you a lot of an, an invulnerability to anything, um, including grabs, including every attack. Um, so this, I mean, this worked out exceptionally well here. That I mean, sometimes I just I went through every single healing item um, to the point. I mean, that was a good take right there. So basically, just stay on that island. If you run out of resources, just go to the corpses on the, on the other islands, grab some shit. And just run back, but just keep dropping that inferno magic. It really works well to um, leave yourself. Um, just it just makes you invincible for like a few seconds, and it gives you a lot of time to do even more hits afterwards. So um, that fight is it can be pretty pretty irritating, um, but just remember the fact that um, of that immunity with the nimpo. It's really helpful. I mean that just knowing that made it makes the fight a lot easier for me. Um, so I actually didn't have to go on, go to these corpses during the course of the fight, so now I'm going to grab them, um, now that I have a few seconds, uh, you get damaged by going in the lava, but don't worry about it, it's so negligible that it doesn't even matter, um, so I may have missed a corpse, I'm not sure why I didn't grab it, I may have had more healing items than I could carry, um, so grab this chest, gives you a thousand bucks, so, it either gives you ghost fish or a thousand bucks, so, if you do get the money drop, back drop, uh, back, back and save it. Um, I have the um, Kasari Gama equipped, 
it's pretty essentially like the same thing as a Victorian. I mean, the Vigorian flails in terms of giving you a lot of immunity from these ghost fish, uh, immunity frames, etc. So this right here, I am shooting one fish and then absorbing the essence drop by that one fish that I shot with the arrow, and doing a uh, hopefully a red UT with this uh, level three Kusari Gamma. And there is several schools of fish that you need to take out. And uh, you might notice me like backtrack and run away from the fish. That's because um, now if you kill a fish, then the other ones will try to get at you. Um, if you just kind of leave them alone, they won't even attack you if you're not close to them. Um, so that's the two ways to get the fish to you. If you like, if you want to move around the fish and set yourself up. So what I'm trying to do is move away from the fish to a point where I could get them at a distance, so I could shoot one of them with an arrow and then um, charge up and absorb their essence so um, you know this is the this is uh, just shamelessly get, trying to get the most money possible from these guys so I'm gonna kill one guy charge up get that red UT then get, th kill this school of fish that's charging at me here with that red UT and then uh, it's all good so we're gonna um, there is uh, a couple items here to grab in this uh, little marshland here area here um, remember this, uh, so as I was referring to in the opening of this video, um, there's a lot of ghost fish. They may have uh, repopulated down there, so that was really good. I got a lot of nice, uh, good kills with the UT on these uh, undead fish here. So, like, when there's only one or two left, just, just kill them in the normal way. Don't worry about getting kills, um, absorbing essence, stuff like that. So this shop here, um, you want to pick up... Uh, Nimpo is really good for the wolf fight because he's uh he doesn't fall into the same kind of patterns that he does that he did in chapter seven. Um, so just you definitely want to uh, save it, save the fact that you beat those fish. You get a checkpoint when you get to the uh, the centaurs before wolf. So this area here, I would uh, get a talisman every birth. So just essentially max out all your items and make sure you have a full thing of um, Nimpo, plus make sure you have three Devil's Way Mushrooms too. Um, so you're going to see me, I'm going to use the Enma's Fang for the Wolf Fight, and I tried to use UTs on Wolf, it just uh, doesn't work. I've seen people use the Lunar on him, um, and but they were saying that you had to have it on like level 2 to effectively use the UTs for that, and I don't have that on level 2, I have it on level 3, so you can't downgrade items. Um, so I just kind of go really gutsy on this fight. I use a lot of Piercing Void Nympos to damage him as much as possible, and I just use uh, strong techniques of the um, the Enma's Fang. So um, don't miss this chest here, too. This is uh, potentially some, um, you know, fucking fish... As if we didn't fight enough fish already. But normally that will yield you some money. In that box there. Um, but when, once we get once we clear this area, we're going to have a group of centaurs to deal with. And the really uh, pissed off thing that I hated about this full fight is that... Yeah, you got to fight these centaurs before him. And then at, when you get to Wolf, he like drops down into the arena... So, and there's no fucking checkpoint after the centaurs, and yeah, I'm, yeah, I admit they only take a few seconds to kill, but it's like, it's so, this is like, fucking, just put me on Wolf, I don't want to do these centaurs every time, because I kept dying on Wolf, um, but I think the reason behind that is because he kind of, it's not like a cutscene, the, and then Wolf is, it's like, he kind of drops into the battle, so it's all like one sequence of events, so, I can't, I, I, I think I know why, you know, there's no checkpoint available. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, we're uh, Wolf will drop in pretty soon, and uh, you know it's okay. We don't need to check one because we're gonna take him down. Um, and I would uh, just keep the Emma's Enma's Fang equipped. Um, you could use the uh, art of the uh, the Piercing Void too. That's a good weapon. So uh, this fight is difficult, and I decided to. My goal here was to to defeat him and not use my. Um, Talisman of Rebirth, so um, I, he blocks quite a bit, but there's a good combo to do on him called, let me see, let me pull it up real quick, it's called the Broken Reincarnation move with this uh, weapon, 
tap the square button five times followed by the triangle button. That is a, a pretty good combo and one that I didn't pull off in this take. So um, the art of the, uh, the piercing void, um, sometimes it will miss him, but for the majority it, it keeps hitting him. Um, on a, We'll see that I missed him there again. But I would do it enough times to just damage him until you get comfortable, until he's almost dead, and then uh, rush him again. Um, because this is a really tough fight. He, uh, it's so hard to get close to him and do, and just deal damage to him that I'm kind of, you know, I missed three times in a row there and that was just really re regrettable. But, um, and the toss another one there did some good damage, uh, got back in my groove. Um, he keeps blocking, so just, uh, just keep trying to do the broken reincarnation. And if you can't do it, see there's four misses. So it's not that, you know, something to fall back on too much, but those combos sure do, do a lot of damage. Uh, Plus, with the Nympho, it, uh, I mean, it all adds up to a victory. So there was five fucking misses, so that was really bad. But um, just, uh, just take him down. We'll move on to Chapter 16.